welcome. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you've enjoyed watching the other lives so far and I really do appreciate you joining me for mine. Let me introduce myself. My name is Jo, Jo Shaw, and I'm a knitwear designer behind Hardy Barn Designs. Um, I am also a knitting workshop tutor and I work closely with my um, local yarn shop, A Good Yarn in Cleethorpes. Um, <clears throat> let me explain a little bit about my ethos, about how I write my knitting patterns so you have an idea of what you get if you buy one of them. I like to write patterns that are enjoyable to knit um, and also as clearly written as possible so that will mean that I will include um, video tutorials and photo tutorials in the pattern and any other information I think you might need. I like to give you as many options as possible so um, I will give you as many sizes as makes sense and I will fully write and fully chart all my patterns except for colour work charts so with this one the colour work chart is um, just a chart and no written and I would be interested to see if anyone prefers to have a written um, instruction for that. And the other thing I like to do is make uh, my patterns modular. So, for example, this one here, Don't Fret, um, is done in such a way that it repeats. Um, so you can either make the shawl as big as you want or use up the same amount of, uh, the amount of yarn that you want to use. So I like to give you as many options as possible. My uh, patterns are available on Ravelry, um, Payhip, Lovecrafts and Etsy. And I am offering a 15% discount on all of my patterns this weekend. Um, you just need to use the code Yorkshire Yarn Fest on checkout. Um, so let me show you some of my patterns. I have, uh, this is uh, my latest release for uh, this weekend. This is Gentle Blooms. This is a bandana cowlet. Um, <clears throat> so it looks like a shawl, but it's actually a cowl that goes over your head, which means that it will stay in position. You get the fun of making a shawl on a small scale. Um, this design came about um, because I was, I had a lot of leftovers from a shawl, which was all in luxury blends, and I didn't want to leave it languishing in my stash. So I just decided to use them for this. It is quite a relaxing knit. You've got um, a lot of knit and purl. You've got a little bit of a textured knit knot stitch. I don't know if you can see that. And you've got a handful of colour work rows here towards the end, and they are literally only a handful. Um, <clears throat> so it, hopefully they're placed in just a way so you've got the smallest amount of effort for the biggest impact. Um, in the pattern, I do have a couple of video tutorials. So, thanks Tish. <laughs> um, so, um, the... I have a video tutorial for the cast on here so there's a couple of options either to just cast on or use provisional uh, all the instructions are in the pattern but i've included a video tutorial for that and also for the knot stitches as well so that's today's new release i'll show you some of my other patterns so this is bark i keep calling it a shawl i think it might be a bit more of a a scarf, shawl, shawlette. Um, this is bark and this was designed in collaboration with um, Giddy Art Yarns. Um, they provide the yarn and the idea was I really want to, I love using the mohair yarns but I don't necessarily always want to use them on their own. So this uses a merino singles and a mohair. Um, this colourway is drift and this one is pieces of eight and Giddy Art Yarns do do kits on their website. Um, this is a more contrasting one. They also have um, a number of um, complementary ones. So this is another one they have. This is Mildred and I, and I couldn't resist. <laughs> Isn't it gorgeous? So there's, there's quite a few different colorways that they do for pre-order. So you can get the kit from them or you can buy the pattern from me. And the, the idea behind the name was the colorway names are seafaring so I thought it was appropriate but to call it bark which is a sailing ship and I thought this this end looks a little bit like a sail so it's another one that's really nice easy knit um, you've got uh, lots of garter stitch and um, pearl with a little bit of a bias to make it a bit more interesting and then every now and again thrown in you've got a little bit of lace a little bit of eyelet stitch and then you've got this larger lace pattern here and again, bark is a modular design like the Don't Fret. 
so you can keep on working until you've used up the amount of yarn you want to use. I um, I had another sample that I made that finished here instead of the lace, so it finished about there, so I could use a smaller amount of mohair. It's also quite a nice design. I've seen somebody use their Advent um, mohair minis to do with mohair and change the colours through, which is lovely. Oh, it's quite warm with that on. <laughs> so that one's bark. This one is Don't Fret. So Don't Fret was a collaboration with John Arban Textiles um, when they brought out their new Yarnadelic line last year. Um, Yarnadelic is themed on um, 60s, 70s um, soul music and the idea was to design something with a musical theme so I don't know if you can figure out from the very unsubtle name of Don't Fret what my theme was. So this one is, is meant to be look like a guitar fret. So this one is the smaller size and this takes one skein of the main colour and one skein of the contrast colour. Um, the larger sample that I did uses two, um, two skeins of the larger colour. Um, but again, it's modular so you can use any size in between or make them even larger. Um, I did have quite a nice um, compliment at the beginning of the month for this one. Um, this pattern was nominated on Modern Daily Knitting's Pattern Party for Shawls at the beginning of the month, so that was quite exciting. So, moving on to socks. So, this one is Scrapix. So, Scrapix is essentially a go-to toe-up sock pattern with a heel flap and gusset so it's like your top down one um, but you're going from toe up but the the main idea behind this is it gives you lots of options with your yarn you've got three um, different toes with guidance on which one to pick even if it's for somebody that um, you don't know would suit them what sort of shape they have but the idea behind this is it guides you through using helical knitting so there's lots of there's a couple of videos in the pattern and it is written in question format. So, for example, if you want to know, the question might say, when should I put in a new colour of yarn? And it'll tell you that. Or you can ignore it and just use it as a plain sock pattern. So this sample was done uh, using 5-10 gram um, skeins of yarn. Um, so it's a solid and then it's blended through with a helical. So it sort of makes it more cohesive. Um, colourway but then I've have I've used it for several different styles this one is um, another one so this one's got some contrast in but these, there's helical all in the middle and lots of uh, stripes so it's a really good palette to play about with whatever yarn that you happen to, to want to use and then this one is another fun design this one is by chance um, by chance um, was um, done with in collaboration with my with a good yarn, my local yarn shop, and we do a sock club every year. I know a lot of you that are on at the moment are, are members of it. Um, in that first year, we did uh, in this pattern, and we included dice in the kit. Um, so that means it gives you um, lots of choices on what to do. So you've got two different cuffs, you've got a two by two and a one by one. You've got two different heels. You've got your slip stitch and your eye partridge and you've got six different stitch patterns so you can just roll your dice to pick the sock um, pattern that you want to do so it sort of makes it fun just deciding what you're going to do. I know a lot of people like um, to have matching socks so you can just do your first sock to the roll of the dice and then do the second one um, exactly the same or you could do your second one to the roll of dice and have two sort of fraternal pairs of socks. So that one's by chance. What was my next one? So this is my latest sock pattern. This is Dupont. And Dupont is, um, the idea behind this was I really love the slip stitch um, heel pattern. And so I wanted to, and I just find it so squishy and soft and lovely. So I just, just went crazy and covered the sock in it. So it goes all the way down to the tips of the toes. 
um, it, um, it's quite a nice one if you um, have only ever done vanilla socks before because um, that way you can, it's just a small uh, pattern repeat and it just, it's the same all over the sock. And also because the type of toe I've used, there's no Kitchener stitch, so it's a good next step sock pattern. And then <clears throat> this one is Amel. So Amel is a top-down crescent shawl and it is done um, using a, a mohair silk yarn and um, this one is actually done in round kid silk haze and in the white but you could do it in something variegated it could look quite interesting um, this was done as a christmas eve box with a good yarn and it does have beading on it so i don't know if you can see the beading this is done with a crochet hook and it is entirely optional so if you don't fancy doing the beading you can there's guidance in the pattern to take that out um, basically you just knit the stitches instead. And, and it's also got, this one has got multiple sizes. So I think there's five sizes and I think this is the middle one. So you can go smaller and you can go larger than this. And it's, it's quite nice to be able to use mohair for change. But if you're not a fan of mohair, you can always uh, sub it out for a, a four ply instead. All right, I think I'm running a little bit Low on time, might have time for one more. This one is Wee Jimmy. Both of these are the same sock, different, and they work. It's a toe up sock with a nice simple stitch pattern. I make these for everybody because it's, it's such a nice sock pattern to do and it's not too difficult and it works really nicely with um, self striping yarns, as you can tell. And I think I better round off so I don't run over time. Um, thank you for joining me. I really appreciate it. Um, if you want to see any more of my patterns or any of the ones that I've already discussed, then you can just head over to hardybarn.co.uk and they're all on there and the links through to the shops are there as well. And if you buy any of the patterns, then please don't forget to use the um, discount code Yorkshire Yarn Fest for your 15% off all of them this weekend. And I really do appreciate you joining me today. Thank you. <laughs>